In today's video, we're going to be looking at how Mortal Kombat 1 runs on the Nintendo Switch after the huge Chaos Reigns update from two weeks ago. I've had some time to really get my hands dirty with this game on the Switch. I've been playing it since day one where it had some big problems, but now here we are over a year later and we finally got the big expansion story with the new animalities and characters. So let's just get right to it, shall we? But first, as always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I've got a link to my Discord in the description, so check that out. So when looking at the main screen and the main menu, obviously we can see the difference in appearance. On the left, we got the original day one main menu, and on the right, we can see what it looks like now with the Chaos Reigns update. Also, fun fact, you can actually change it back to the original main menu theme from the settings area. One of the biggest things about the Chaos Reigns update was the new animalities and a lot of people me included were kind of wondering how the Nintendo Switch was going to be able to handle them if at all well let's take a look YouTube has been slapping me with age restrictions so I'm going to be blurring the naughtier parts but you're still going to be able to see the frame rate on top which is what this video is about anyway if you just want to see all the animalities uncensored on the Switch I've got another video just for that but from what I saw while I was compiling all of the animalities to put them together for a comparison video with the PS5 version, what I saw is that the animalities on the Switch are for the most part able to keep up with the PS5 counterparts. Here you can see Sector's animality, but there are some animalities that I guess have a bit too much going on and they go a little bit slower like Sindel's for example, but Sector's performs pretty much perfectly. You can see a clear reduction in speed in Sindel's compared to the PS5 version. Smoke's bear animality is a tiny bit slower on the Switch, but for the most part, I would say that for the Switch, animalities perform just fine. Now let's check out loading from the main menu into a local CPU offline match, starting with getting to the character select menu. It takes about 15 to 20 seconds to get from the main menu to the character select screen, but once you're there, the way that it performs is night and day from how it did day one. It takes about 5 seconds to load a character model, and honestly, I don't expect that to change. It never did with Mortal Kombat 11, like for example if you go to the customized mode in MK11 for the Switch, it still has character models and you're going to notice that they also take a little while to load, so that's not going to be changing for MK1 either anytime soon, probably never. But as far as MK11 goes, I'm going to be doing another MK1 versus MK11 Switch comparison at some point, so be on the lookout for that, but for now let's move on. But yeah, performance in the character select menu is now so much better than it used to be. I can actually cycle through all the characters without the system struggling to keep up. If you did that in the early updates, the whole game would just start stuttering. It stays at a fairly stable 30 FPS, dropping slightly while it loads the character model, but not enough to actually impact anything too noticeably. When it comes to loading matches, casual games will load in at about 15 to 20 seconds which I should remind you is faster than they load in Mortal Kombat 11. And casual mode actually works properly now where it doesn't disconnect every other match, so that's a huge plus. But matches load substantially faster now than they did at launch where they took 40 seconds before. When it comes to the intros, there's a slight stutter at the very beginning of the intro, but once the intros start, they stay at a very consistent 30 frames per second. All cutscenes in all versions of MK1, I believe, are in 30 frames per second, but when we transition to gameplay, it switches to 60 frames per second. Here you can see my day one sector, and Noob Saibot decided to get me with a fatal blow, so let's take a look at how that performs. Obviously, I'm gonna blur the naughty bits so YouTube doesn't beat me. Now, let's look at Sector's Fatal Blow. Fatal Blows in Mortal Kombat 1 now perform extremely well. They stay at a very steady 30 frames per second. We can see that with both Noob Saibot and Sector's Fatal Blows. Let's take a look at some of the new stages. Here we got what is probably my favorite one of the new bunch of stages, and it's probably my favorite stage in the game now. It's the Fog Variation of the Corrupted Forest. This is probably the best performing stage in the game now, at least when it comes to the Switch. The game seems to run at a higher resolution 
resolution with this stage and that's probably because there's so little going on in the background and you know what since we did the brutal here you can see what Liu Kang's bicycle kick brutality looks like on the switch I haven't noticed it glitching at all this patch and I've done it a whole bunch of times to a whole lot of people I wouldn't be surprised if some brutality still have some bugs but here let's take a look at all of Liu Kang and Lee Mei's new brutalities on the switch because yes with the chaos reigns update we every single character in the game got new brutalities the gore seems to have really improved lately but you are going to notice that there's pretty much no blood pooling on the ground on any of the new brutalities the blood just goes through the ground now let's head on over to practice mode and check something out the unfortunate thing still is that as you can see in the latest update when we got two cameos on screen the game still cuts to 30 frames per second for about a second here you can see me doing it repeatedly, it happens every single time. I do hope that this is something that gets resolved, however I will say that it's not really the biggest deal to me. I don't think anyone looking to play Mortal Kombat 1 at the serious competitive level is going to be playing it on the Switch anyway, but it would still be nice to get this fixed. But to put things in perspective, back when the Switch version of MK1 first launched, it only took one cameo being on screen to make the game cut to 30 frames per second. Now it takes both cameos so that's a pretty big improvement but hopefully we see further improvements in that department online matches perform really well in my experience but as is always the case in fighting games your mileage may vary the online performance that you get is really going to depend on several factors like your region, your connection, etc. If you're playing on Wi-Fi, generally you're going to have a spotty connection. If you're on a wired connection but your opponent is on Wi-Fi, you're going to have issues. If you're both on Wi-Fi, then you're probably going to be foobar, which if you're on the Nintendo Switch, there's a good chance that most people that you play online are going to be on Wi-Fi. If you look at my Switch's home menu, I'm on a wired connection. You know, you see this squiggly thing up here? That's the wired icon, so most of my online matches tend to be pretty okay. On Steam, most connections will be better, obviously, but on the Switch, I know when I'm playing another player who has a wired connection because the connection is just going to be buttery smooth. One of the biggest issues with Mortal Kombat 1, though, is lag switchers. They exist in this game, believe me, and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Yesterday, I got like three of them in a row in Combat League. Conveniently, every time I hit a combo, the connection just spikes to like 300 ping but it runs perfectly when they're playing so you can expect a lot of that but that goes without saying in a fighting game it just might be more noticeable on the switch a few other things I should mention invasions mode is pretty playable now it's not great but it's not horrible like it was in the first year I actually finished invasions mode this season already and last season as well I think going forward they're gonna start recycling the seasons so hopefully with the added improvements to invasions mode we can go through the previous seasons again with all the quality of life changes like maps and being able to change the speed at which you move but pertaining to the switch version specifically if the last time that you played invasions on the switch was a year ago then you're gonna be in for a huge performance upgrade it's way better now the only invasions footage I have right now is the Kung Lao Titan from a few days ago but even that performs pretty well which I'm gonna upload that in a few days but for now that's gonna be it for this video my Xbox Series S is gonna be getting here today but I am gonna have to go to work later so I'm not gonna be able to play it until tomorrow but when I do I'm gonna be grinding the hell out of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero I've been waiting on that game for like 20 years now and I'm gonna be doing some content on that too so be on the lookout for that and with all that said I'm going to keep bringing you more combo videos, online matches, and video game news. I'm Switch Played. Done.